videos and I want to take you on probably my last little accommodation stay in London. I'm leaving here soon. So there are a lot of different forms of accommodation that you can have when you're traveling and I wanted to show you another one. I've showed you guys hostels, I've showed you guys capsule hotels, I've showed you Airbnbs. This um, type of hotel isn't that exciting but I'm gonna show you how to kind of find something that it, that can allow you to be the loner self that you are, like me, <laughs> but also um, not have to pay an arm and a leg, which is very difficult to do in London, especially. London is probably the most expensive city I've ever stayed in, but you find ways to make it work. So this is a guest house and I'm gonna give you a tour. A guest house is kind of in between a hotel and a hostel. So I'm gonna show you what you get here for your money and how much it is and kind of a night in the life. First, we're gonna do a quick tour and it's not really gonna take that long because there's not that much to show. Firstly, you get a set of keys for the front door and also for your room. walk into the room and there is good lighting there's at least a good sized window which is very important to me anyways and storage and a mirror and a bed it's pretty simple you can adjust the heating yourself with this thermometer thing I didn't really use it I always like when there's a full-length mirror because I'm vain <laughs> I get very tired of living in a suitcase so I like to try and unpack if I'm staying anywhere for longer than two weeks And I figured out the window can open all the way if you want to jump out of it. <laughs> Just kidding, don't jump out of windows. You do get a set of towels and also some shampoo and body soap that smells weird, but it does the job, I guess. You also get some coffee and tea. It's low quality, but you get what you pay for, honestly. Then you have to leave outside the room and there is a bathroom per floor and so you walk to get to the bathroom. Fortunately, it wasn't too crowded during this time. So that is the tour of my hostel guest room. So in my experience, you can get a place like this in a hostel, it's just gonna be a bit more expensive. So the, you have different options. Um, I'm not staying in central London, but if you search around London for guest houses slash hostels, that's probably gonna be the most affordable option for you. I know this isn't really as relevant right now because no one's really traveling, but when traveling does pick up again, if you're looking for affordable options, the one app I've used the, probably the most while traveling and I highly recommend it is Agoda. This isn't sponsored or anything, I wish that it was, but they have hotels and flights that are a lot cheaper. So right now, I'm in this guest house. I mean, it's called Greenwich House. I'm not here anymore, so I can say that, but this is what it looks like on my app. For this, for example, the pricing right now is at $372 for two week a two week stay. You get this whole room to yourself. This is a single room and, and the th difference between this from a hotel is that it is a shared bathroom situation. So basically, yeah, it is like a hotel, but it doesn't have um, the amenities that a hotel would have. It doesn't have any microwaves, there's no fridges, there's no kitchen, and it does have house cleaning services. I'm not sure how often they come though especially during corona, but it's they've come a few times for me and they've been nice. So basically in dollars, it's about $26 a night, which is not bad. Um, for a normal hotel, if you look them up, it's gonna be well over $30 to have your own space. Now with a hostel, if we look up hostels, you can get it way cheaper. It just depends on your comfort level. Like for me, I hate hostels, as you probably know in my last video about hostels, I hate them. Um, they're usually pretty dirty and I hate sleeping in bunks around people. 
can't get a good night's sleep just because I'm really sensitive in that way. So I like to go in between kind of the hotel and hostel and get the best price. So I've searched around, um, I've stayed at so many places while traveling that I feel like this is probably one of the best options. You can get a place like this also at a hostel where you still share the bathroom but you get your own room. So if you look on Agoda and you look at hostels, you kind of scroll down and it shows that you can get a single room. And I've used that quite often. So that's my little travel hack about accommodation for introverts or loner type of people. I don't know um, how many people out there are interested in that, but that's what I've always liked to do. And that's a pretty good price for London. There's a lot to, to think about when you're booking your accommodation, but for me, I like to get the best price and be able to have a very walkable area. The only problem that I've run into is that since I don't have any refrigeration, and I don't have a microwave or anything, it's very hard to cook food. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm gonna show you me ordering Uber Eats for the first time. I usually just go and eat with Johnny, but um, tonight I'm flying solo and I'm going to try and just get my own food through Uber Eats. <laughs> yeah, travel! The thing is, is that we're in lockdown right now, guys. This is, um, the whole month's gonna be in lockdown, so. Today is a uh, kind of a chill day where I have to edit an entire video. Um, I'm gonna order food and I'm going to get a shower and go to sleep. And that's pretty much the itinerary for today. I know it's not very exciting, but I wanted to talk to you guys. So, the, it, oh, also internet here is a bit dodgy. Yeah. It works okay, but if you're trying to stream or anything like that, no, I can't stream here. I like this place a lot better than my, Air, my last Airbnb. I don't like to stay with other people. I just don't. Even though I had my own room, it was in someone else's house and it was just kind of weird. Here everyone is just kind of staying for a short term. Um, with these, you can get one night, you can get like up to a month, probably even more, but I don't know who'd want to stay here that long without any type of refrigerator. I also wanted to do a quick workout. So I'm gonna do that first. and tofu pad thai and vegetable tempura. Basically it's deep fried vegetables. <laughs> Not very healthy, but I was just I was just trying to there wasn't a lot of options near me, so that's just what we get. That's just that's that's what we're doing. I'm gonna sit on my computer and then edit, which is boring and I can't really show you much of that. I'll show you what happens when I get my food. <laughs> comes, which it should be coming pretty quickly, actually. Oh, that's so sweet. <sighs> right <laughs> give me some these things I don't know this is a lot of food there's no way I'm eating all of this so that's a a pepper wow those are greasy okay. this is the main meal here mm. wow. <laughs> so this is pad thai I don't like actual Thai pad Thai in Thailand but I like having all the no they didn't give me any they didn't give me any utensils I don't want to use my little spoon for all of this mm. so this is my pad Thai it is tofu pad Thai that's the tofu pieces <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, I hate that protein. We're gonna use this little spoon to eat. Comment below if you love Pad Thai. I like it a lot. Good. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go continue editing. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. I was a little bit lonely, so I'm glad for it. I will say goodnight now and then we can wake up in the morning and have coffee together. Good morning. I'm just brewing some coffee in my kettle and then I'm gonna move out of here. So I promised you that we'd have coffee in the morning, so here we are. I have to put this on the floor because the cord's not long enough. <laughs> very last night because I edited really late. How are you? How's your morning? Good, good. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That there's some things that you don't want to happen. There's some things that you don't like. There's some things that aren't good enough. The beauty of it is that that is life. And if you're too critical with everything and expect too much and are attached to the outcome, then you'll be sorely disappointed all the time. But when you can appreciate the small things, no matter what they are, then you can live a very good life. And I've learned that a lot lately. But yeah, this coffee is disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> I hope your day goes fantastic. And I hope I enlightened you a little bit about accommodations. Uh, the next video is probably going to reveal what's coming next, which is another move. I'll see you in the next video. I love you very much. Thanks for trusting